Hey everybody, I'm KK. I'm Kristen. Together we are KK Grenade. She forgot. No, I did not. This is Decade Divas Party 2024 Part 3. And this decade is the 1950s. And so for this one, it's kind of funny because this is a toy that I knew all of my life. My kids have known all their lives, but they didn't realize that it was older. Kristen said that she thought this toy this this toy came out when? When the Toy Story movies came out. Say it louder, they can't hear you. I was thinking that this wasn't a toy until Toy Story came out. So maybe you already know what we did. We've told you that each decade we were representing a decade, a toy from that decade. This is the toy that I chose to create from the 1950s because it was initially brought out in the 1950s. And it is... Da, 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 Mr. Potato Head! I love him. I really do. Um... I don't know, when I was little, we didn't, like, if I had, if I played with it, it's because friends had it. I don't think I ever had a Mr. Potato Head. Um, I don't know. But the original Mr. Potato Head was created as faces and, what do you call them, accessories that you would use, actually, let me turn the brightness, brightness down. down so you can see it, that you would actually use on potatoes and fruit. Potato head. It says, potato head funny face kit. Any fruit or vegetable makes a funny face man. So there's a, you can see, that's wild. And Kristen saw that and said, ew. <laughs> she said, that looks funny. So, it doesn't look like the one that I know. So in the, well, they've changed a lot. So in the 1950s, they, you didn't even get the, the body of the potato head. You had to provide your own potato or piece of fruit, and you could add the little attachments. Now, this is a free pattern, and I will link it down below. The only thing that was not um, part of this was the mustache, and I can't even remember if hers had a mustache. Uh, I can't remember. I'll have to, you'll have to look and see. But I will write in the comments what I did to make the mustache for mine because I wanted mine to look more like the Toy Story version. So this is him, and there he is. And he didn't take very long to make. I think I worked him up in just part of a day. I mean, I will say I cheated, um, and I hot glued everything on. And I did that with the pokey little puppy from last time, too. I hot glued stuff. That's just, uh, that's my new thing. If it's for me, it's hot gluing and I'm not sewing on these little pieces. Generally, if it's for me, I'm not making something like this that has all the pieces, but he is going to be for me. He's going to be added to my stash of all the little, um, crocheted Amis that I have. And I told Kristen, I said, I'm going to have to figure out a way to store them. I do have a shelf, um, over here that I can put them on, but I would like to have a way to store them so that you could see them in the background. But we don't have a lot of space, so we'll see what happens. Um, I may just put them on the shelf and take a picture and use them as a thumbnail. Who knows? But, yep, that's our our toy for the 1950s. I was stuck on Toy Story. But, yeah, so this way, not only will our generation know, but the younger generation also knows who this is. He is a very lasting toy. Um, all the toys that we have done so far are lasting toys and books and characters that have lasted through time. And I really appreciate that. So now we're going to move on to the trivia for the 1950s. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to word this. Okay. So what is... What's the most popular, popular of the mid-1950s game shows that had a featured contestant answer a series of questions leading up to a, the final question. question? Yeah. I had to stop her from saying that. That's the name of it. Yeah. So... In the 1950s, there were the mid 1950s. There was a popular game show, the most popular game show, and it featured questions that they had to answer, and it led up to a final question, and then you give the name of the show. So I didn't know this one either, but then again, I wasn't alive in the 1950s, so who knows? <clears throat> so that is our 1950s version for Decade Divas 2024. Don't forget to go over and visit Shannon at the Spoony Stitcher, Teresa at Critters Crochet. Ashley at Gwenspire Crochet, and Sonnet at the Sonnet Silence. I'll link down below and check out and see what they made for today and who was the host of the day, who was the host of the decade. And also, don't forget to go watch Shannon's initial video also tagged down below so that you can find out all about this collaboration 
and the different facets of it. So we hope you have a great day, and don't forget to be kind because... You don't know anyone else's journey. Bye. Bye.